Hello, friends. Welcome back to Tape Measure Pencil Knife. T. M. V. K. Perfect. Today on Tape Measure Pencil Knife, we're building a mantle, a standard recessed panel mantle. We're going to be using MDF, medium density fiberglass. Let me show you a material list. I have two four by eight sheets of three quarter MDF. I have one piece of crown molding. I have one piece of five and a quarter baseboard. I have a couple pieces of base cap. And that's it. I've drawn a little blueprint so you can kind of see what's going on. Just a little picture so you can get a visual of what I'm about to build. There's four major parts to this mantle. There's the left leg and the right leg, or the left leg and the right leg. There's the middle, and then there's the top. There's the left leg, the right leg, the middle, and the top. First, we're gonna rip the widths of those things that I need. Yeah, let's go. exploded version. It's got the sides of each leg and the middle of each leg. Then it's got the middle and the bottom of the middle. You can kind of see what's about to happen. The next step is to put it back on the table and glue and nail all the pieces together. Glue, nail, glue and nail, glue and nail. the basic shape of the mantle. Now it's time to make the panels. How do you make the panels? We add two inch strips, two inch strips along the sides. My crown mold has a drop of three and five eighths. So the top gets a five and five eighths. So there's a two inch strip below the crown mold. The bottom's gonna get 
two, two boots of baseboard. We're gonna raise it up a little bit higher. Left leg, right leg, middle. They get two inch strips nailed to the face around the boxes. Is this, is this making any sense? Probably not. I just need to show you. Let's rip some two inch strips. Glue and nail them to the boxes. Let's do that. individual piece before I connect them. Send the left leg, right leg, and middle separately, and then glue them, then nail them together. I was tempted, tempted. Unpleasant. Yeah. Yeah, clean the lid. 
The next step is the top, the fourth piece. I like to make my top five inches bigger than the legs on both sides and in the front. Five inches farther in the front, and five inches. That's my top. But we need a two inch thick top, so I need two of those tops, and then I wrap it in a two inch board. I should really practice explaining things better with my mouth, but I don't know how. So let me show you with my hands. On, on. Measure, mark, cut, nail. Repeat. Let's go. I love you.
Love Maine. I love you. Watch this. Now, the only thing left to do is the boots. Two different layers of baseboard. First one's gonna be some MDF with base cap on top. The second layer will be the regular baseboard. So the bigger boot goes on first, then the room baseboard continues around. Let's do it. That's it. Not much to it. Okay, there's a lot to it. But now that you know how, you could build one easy. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned a couple seconds. I'll take you down the street to one of these that's already been painted. So you can get an idea of what it looks like finished. And that's it. Don't forget to wear a mask. Alright. Bye guys. I'll see you next time.